Britta with the Best Top Marketing Team and this is Jeff. Today we're going to show you how to install a Best Top Replacement Top on a Jeep Wrangler 1997 to 2006. The neat thing about Replace a Top is that it comes with all of the fabric that you need, including the windows on the sides and the back, but it doesn't come with the hardware. You use the factory hardware that came with your Jeep. It saves you a little bit of money and gives you a brand new look. One thing you want to make sure of before you purchase your Best Top Replace a Top is that the hardware is in good condition. You need to double check to make sure you actually have the factory hardware. The easiest way to do that and quickest is to look for these plastic door surrounds, those little wings that go around your door right here. If you've got those, it's most likely a factory top. Another thing you could do to verify your hardware is go to bestop.com to our Frequently Asked Questions page. You can also call our customer service at 1-800-845-3567. But if you've got the factory hardware and you just need to replace this top because it's old and torn like this one is, Replace a top is a great option. You can get tinted windows, you can get different colors, and on some of them you get the replacement fabric for your upper doors. And we make best top replace a tops that go all the way back to 1976 CJs, and we even make a few tops for our Suzuki Samurais. We have a couple different options for fabric. You can get the standard heavy duty fabric we've been using for years. It's a great durable fabric on our best top replace a top. We also have another option called the best top sail cloth. Sail cloth is an even heavier duty fabric. That's extra durable, extra thick, extra tough fabric. It's going to keep your Jeep nice and cool in the summertime and warm in the winter. It's also going to keep more of the noise out and keep, give you a quieter ride. So the big option is really all about the fabric. So there's a lot of options when it comes to a replace a top. So again, we really do recommend that you go to the website or the catalogs and double check to make sure you get the right top for your vehicle. But once you've done that and you've got it purchased, we're going to show you how to get this installed. It's really pretty easy. And to do that, we've got Jose from our engineering department. Hi, I'm Jose. This install is not too hard uh, to do. Uh, we'll need the following tools. We'll need a utility knife, a Phillips head screwdriver, a shoe horn, and safety glasses wouldn't be a bad idea either. I myself like to use a cordless screwdriver because it makes my, uh, my installation a whole lot faster. Uh, this install, uh, it's not too bad for one person to do, but if you got two people, it's a whole lot easier. Jose's going to provide all the brains and exactly how to do this, and I'm going to be the assistant. You ready to get started? Yep. So we're going to start by step one, remove the quarter windows and the rear window. Take off the quarter windows, unzip them, put them up to the side. Then our next step is going to be to take the rear window out, unzip that, pull out the tailgate with that, pull the tailgate off the rear glass and save that uh, rear tailgate. Make sure you save the tailgate bar. Then we're going to come over here to the sides and take the plastic pieces off the door surround. Okay, step two, release the windshield latches. Okay, we're going to release the, rear, the front latches. We're going to come to the back and take the rear panel off and fold it over to the top. We are now in step four of the installation guide. Unsnap the fabric from the rear bow and allow the bow to drop onto the tailgate. Unfasten the flap around the center bow and pull the top all the way to the back. Put the fabric into the back of the Jeep. The header channel will be on top of the tailgate and upside down. Remove the screws that fasten the fabric to the corners of the header channel. Make sure to save these screws. Go back and flip that whole top over. take all of these screws out of the header. Correct. That's pretty simple and straightforward. We gotta make sure we save the screws, and don't worry if it's how many screws are in there. Some Jeeps have eight, some have up to 14, but that was just a change that Jeep made. It all works exactly the same, the install's the same. Just remove Correct. all the screws that are in here. Correct. Okay, once we take the screws off, let's go ahead and pull that whole top. 